Now we turn to a big health news story, a U.S. government prediction today about how bad the swine flu outbreak might still become. They say a big percentage of the U.S. population is at risk, and in some cases, the disease is expected to pose a fatal threat. We get details from our chief science correspondent, Robert Bazell, who is tonight at the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta. A committee of scientists that advises the president said that while the swine flu pandemic is impossible to predict, a plausible scenario would be infection of 30 to 50 percent of the U.S. population, as many as 1.8 million hospital admissions, and 30 to 90,000 deaths concentrated among children and young adults. Speaking today at the Centers for Disease Control, HHS Secretary Sebelius said she's concerned about recent polls showing Americans are not terribly worried about swine flu. We know that right now there's a lot of complacency on the continuum of um, being paralyzed with fear and uh, complacency. We've got to strike a balance. Data gathered by the CDC shows that even now, way outside of normal flu season, people are continuing to get infected throughout the country. 37 children have died already from the new virus, and as schools open, the director of the CDC said there is a good chance things will get far worse. The next few weeks and months will be a very challenging time. We have about 52,000 doses. Hospitals, schools, and colleges like Emory University are preparing. Having students living together on campus, they're sharing a lot of the same uh, bedding and a lot of the same information and a lot of the same cups and we're trying to get them to make sure that they are not spreading the germs any more than possible. But for students, the worry is not so great. Um, priorities, well, <laughs> first off, it's uh, definitely relationships and girlfriends because, you know, we're in college. And then after that, it's books, how to save money, what's the best place to eat on campus, and, you know, who's got the best dorm rooms. And I guess for swine flu, probably a little, a little bit farther down the list because that's just not what's on our minds right now. But if the scenario laid out by the president's advisors is even close, it will be on everybody's mind very soon. As for a vaccine, if clinical trials continue to go well, there will be small amounts of vaccine available in October. But it could be Thanksgiving or way beyond before there's enough vaccine for everybody in the country, Ryan. Robert Bazell at the CDC meeting in Atlanta tonight. Bob, thanks. We wanted to let you know, Bob, will be back on this broadcast tomorrow night to try to answer some questions about swine flu. You can send us your questions by posting them on our website. That's nightly.msnbc.com.